Hey geeks, it's Andrea. So I love sandbox games. I know there are so many Minecraft clones on mobile these days, but we are not ever going to talk about those. No, sir. Today we're going to talk about quality sandbox games that have similarities to Minecraft. All right, geeks, let's go. Five. Terrasology. Before we get any further, I need to point out to you that you probably notice I don't have any personally recorded footage of the game here, and I'm using pictures from their website. The reason for this is I could not personally keep the game running for very long. It constantly crashed for me when I was trying to record and would not run smoothly otherwise. And although my PC has a bit of age to it now, I still have a pretty high-end PC with a really good video card and a decent processor. Don't let that intimidate you from the game though. This is a very very early build of a demanding game and it is possible that I was attempting to use a less than stable build. I don't know. Okay on to what I wanted to say about it. Terrasology is probably the closest to classic Minecraft. Visually in many ways it's easy to mistake the two. It says right on their website like an open source Minecraft. You heard that right. It is completely open source. You can head over to the link below and download the pre-alpha build right now for free. If you do have the skills the source is available for you to tinker with. Being a game that is this early and under development all the time, it's exciting to see exactly what Terrasology will be like in the end. Four. Terraria. Okay, I honestly hate when Terraria is compared to Minecraft. It is so different, but it would be a lie to say that it isn't inspired by Minecraft. And has some similarities, even if it is a 2D take on it. Terraria is fun because as you do certain things, the world gets harder. The corruption grows, the enemies get harder, you can fight harder bosses. You can play the game casually, but it can also be a challenge. Many players like myself, and probably most players, make special arenas to make it easier to fight bosses. This is extremely necessary on many of the bosses. Unfortunately guys, I'm going to put some horrible news here. I would love to sit here and talk about Terraria Otherworld because I know a lot of us were waiting desperately for it. But back in April, Relogic announced that they were no longer developing the game. I don't know how to take this though because I remember one day he stopped doing updates for Terraria, then a chunk of time later got inspired and ended up working on it again. So we'll just have to wait and see. Three. Craft the world. Ooh, ooh, baby, I love this freaking game. I got it in a bundle when it first came out simply because it included a different game. And while I did fall in love with that one, this was the surprise thief of my heart. I mean, looking at it, I'm sure I would have expected to love it had I known what it was, but that is neither here nor there. Craft the World is a game I find myself going back to every few months. There's just something about being able to armor up your men and women if you have the DLC and leveling them in specific areas, going as deep into the ground as you can, fighting enemies, playing and building in different climates, and so on and so on and so on. I just love this game so much that even this talkative game lover can't find the right words to express my feelings for this game. Two. Stardew Valley. Okay, after what I said about Terraria, you might be surprised that this is here, and Craft the World for that matter. But these are just really good games that definitely do qualify. Although it isn't as build center as any of the other games on this list, or of course Minecraft itself, you do get to design your property and definitely attempt to make it as functional as possible. You can raise livestock, harvest crops, dig for treasure in the mines, fish, and so on and so on. You can also find the love of your file. You can even leave them and find another one. If you are super into the game already, like myself, you're probably ready for the multiplayer to become available. Well the good news is it's almost here officially, but if you can't wait, you can play it in beta. Number one, Portal Knights. Okay, this is kind of my game right now. You can probably tell by the lack of frequency with my videos lately that I don't have a lot of free time in my life at the moment, but any chance that I have just a few minutes to wind down this has been my game. Portal Knights is a game where you can go to many different locations in a planet, do quests, collect resources, fight enemies, of course build. You can purchase deeds to land, which is really neat. Basically what this means is you can purchase enemy free lands to build on. You can purchase one of every land type, so you can grow all of the crops available in the game. They are nice and affordable, so you don't have to break the bank to start your home. While going to other locations, you can find people who will give you quests and will eventually want to come join you, and you can build them homes on your land or put them anywhere you want. As you can clearly see, I am clearly in the 
early stages of building homes and businesses for the people that I have rescued so far by the temporary mess of chests and people on my property. Yeah, just don't look over there. Everyone I've played the game with has said that the fighting is a little wonky but to be honest once you get into it it's really not bad it's pretty simple but that works for a game like this all right geeks that's gonna do it for this video thank you so much for hanging out with me today let me know of any other sandbox games you love i would love to check them out if you are new here be sure to subscribe also if you're a fan of gg you can support us by getting a t-shirt don't forget to like comment and follow us on social media if you like puppies you can follow my instagram i've just casually started sharing my six little angels Yes, I do have six dogs. Okay. I also post on Twitter and blah, 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 self-promotion, blah, blah, blah. All right, geeks. I'll see you next time.